Hey guys, what's up? Manchi here, and today we're going to install Lineage OS on a brand new Moto X4. So this is the first custom ROM for the Moto X4. So I decided I'll go ahead and make a tutorial and guide you through the process, and let's see how it goes. All right. So the first thing is you need to make sure your phone is charged 70 to 80 percent, and let's go ahead and see that right now I am on stock. So as you can see. It's Android 8.0.0 with the March 1st, 2018 security patch and the kernel is 4.4.78 and the build number is 27.1.3, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see the tutorial and all these steps will also be on XTA developers, but I just made this small guide and I already see a mistake which I made. So the first step is to download the ROM, the twerp, the zip and the image and the G apps the links for all those will be in the downloads section of the post and you need to place the twerp uh, image file in the same folder where you have fast food so not the zip file but the image file so that is the mistake which we which we have over here the next step is to prepare your phone for the new ASOP style ROMs so so the Moto X4 has you know uh, the capability for dual slots but Motorola hasn't populated those those B slots. So all this script does is populate those those B slots with, with the stuff that we need. So the link to that is also in the download section and once you've downloaded it, you have to unzip the file, navigate to the folder and then execute the flash hyphen all dot bat file if you're on Windows and the flash so there's another mistake. So the flash hyphen all or dash all dot sh for the Linux or Mac. So we'll go ahead and see what that file is, but I've already downloaded it and make sure you have your phone into bootloader mode. So, so here's how you boot your phone into the bootloader mode. Either you, so say right now my phone is on, right? So I go ahead and I say restart. And as soon as I do that, I press the volume down button. So now the phone should boot into bootloader mode. I keep on holding the volume down button. I do not let go of it. So this is how the bootloader mode looks like. So you use the volume rockers to navigate through the options and you use the power button to select it. So let's go ahead and select power off and now we use the power button to select this option. So now the device will power off. Now if you want to get into bootloader mode, if the device is powered off, what you do is you press the volume down button followed by the power off button and you press and hold them. Right, so I press the volume down, I press the power button and I hold it. Now it will boot back into fast boot mode. So this is, those are the two ways how you get into fast boot mode, all right? So now we'll move over to the next step where we're going to prepare our phone for ASOP style ROMs. All right, so, so with my phone in fast boot mode, I go ahead and connect it to the computer using the data cable. And because I have a Mac, I'll go to terminal, which I already have. Open. All right, I hope that's clear. So, so right now, that is my directory. So I will go to navigate to the part, sorry. So I will navigate to the folder where I installed the unzipped, the firmware package, which I downloaded. So in my case, it is this this folder. So I'll go ahead and copy it and navigate into it, right? So now if I do uh, ls l, I will see all the files. So so the files are named flash underscore all dot bat for Windows users and flash underscore all dot sh for Linux and Mac users. Now the first step we're going to do is we're going to check whether fastboot is detecting our device or not. So we do fastboot devices right so so there you see that is my device being detected so now to flash those firmwares to the partition b we just need to execute the flash underscore all dot s h right so now it's flashing the firmware to the both the partitions in this case a and b so we're making sure that they are in sync and once we're done with this, we're going to go ahead and reboot the phone to make sure that what we did didn't 
break the existing operating system so we do fast boot reboot right so now the phone is going to reboot and if it boots successfully then we can be pretty sure that everything was installed fine all right guys so we booted back into android and right now it is stock so so flashing the firmware to both the slots was successful and we're still on the on the same firmware which we were on before right so so this step is done now the next step is we have to do a, a factory reset on the device right so this is needed because we're going to install aswap roms now so do note that you're going to lose all your data so make sure you have a backup and you have removed your micro sd card from the from the device so let's go ahead and say restart and then we keep the volume down press and hold it and we should boot back into fast boot mode there it is so we're back in the fast boot mode and now we're going to now we go back to terminal and we again we can check so our device is being detected and we do fast boot hyphen w right so there you see it it erased the user data and now we do fast boot reboot so the device will boot back again so i'll be back once it's done booting and show you the that we in fact did a factory reset all right guys so we're back and as you can see we're on the let's go screen and the welcome so we just did a fast boot dash w so all our user data was erased and now we'll go ahead and boot into twerp and we can transfer the files from twerp itself so we press the power button click on restart and press and hold the volume down button this will take us back into fast boot mode from where we will boot into the twerp which we downloaded so we are in fast boot mode right now we don't need to do anything we just connect the the phone to the computer using the USB cable we go back to terminal now I have my fast boot installed in platform tools on my desktop so we go there and we do fast boot devices right so my device is being detected again then we just go ahead and copy this command that's it it's done so now my device will will boot into to up recovery right so you can see it's booting into to up recovery so i connect it again and it will show up in android file transfer for me so now i'll have to go into my platform tools folder and i transfer the the zip file for the to up recovery to my phone right Next, I go on install, I scroll down, I select this recovery zip file, which I just transferred to the phone. And I do not select anything else, and I just swipe to confirm flash. So this will flash to a recovery on both slot A and slot B, right? So let's wait for that to happen. And yeah, it does say Moto G6 Plus over here. Yeah. But, but it is for Moto X4, so don't worry about that. And I'll be back once it's done installing. All right, guys, okay, so as you can see, it installed Twerp Recovery on both the slot A and slot B. So now we're going to go ahead and do a reboot system to check everything was installed fine and that stock system is still working. So you just click on Reboot System and I'll be back once it's done rebooting, okay? All right, guys, so we're back on the welcome screen, which means to have installed successfully and the stock Android system is still booting. So let's go ahead and click the power button, click on restart, press and hold volume down. You know the drill by now. So, so now we're back in the fast boot mode. So we'll use the volume rockers to go through the options, right? So this time we're going to select recovery mode. All right. And then use the power button to select recovery mode and we should boot into to up recovery. All right, guys. So now we are booting into Twerp recovery. So we'll go ahead and add, attach the phone using the USB cable again and wait for it to show up. And we'll go ahead and transfer the, the ROM and the, the Google apps. So these are the two files I need. So, all right, so let's go to the reboot 
and see the current slot so right now we are on slot a all right so we go ahead and go to install and we select the lineage os and we click on add more zips and then we select the twerp right and then we swipe to confirm the flash so while this is flashing let me go ahead and tell you why we added the twerp zip again this is because the boot image on these devices have the recovery as well so every time you flash a rom the twerp recovery is going to be overwritten until and unless the rom itself has twerp recovery built in so we need to add the twerp recovery zip file after every rom flash all right so while this flashes i'll take a break and be back all right guys so we are on step two of two so everything is going smooth so far i'll be back once we're done with this all right so now you, you can see it installed the the rom and now it's trying to install the twerp recovery and it still says moto g6 plus because we're using the same zip file but you don't have to worry about it it's for the moto x4 so right now it's patching slot a and then it will patch slot b so there you have it now it's patching slot b all right guys so now we successfully installed lineage os and twerp recovery so now the next step is like you have two options over here now so obviously you have to cl click on wipe dalvik and cache you do that and then now if you reboot the system right now you won't be able to install google apps after you boot into android once right so if you want to install g apps now is the time to make your decision so we go back and we go back and we go back right so now we're back on the home screen we click on reboot and we see our current slot right now it's a right and we click on reboot to recovery right not system not power off not bootloader not anything don't change anything over here just click reboot on recovery right so we click on recovery and it should boot back into twerp recovery all right guys so there you have it we're booting back into twerp recovery and we go to reboot right and you see the slot now it's changed to b now that is because lineage os was installed on slot b that is how a and b slot works so if you install a new rom it will install on the other slot so we were on a we installed lineage os it installed on slot b right so now we go to install and we select our g apps and we swipe to confirm flash so right now it's installing g apps to slot b all right so i'll be back once it's done installing google apps so another thing while it's installing the google apps as you can see do not and i repeat do not install any root package right now you have to boot into android once and then go back to twerp recovery and then you install a root package do not install any root package until you boot into android once otherwise you'll be in trouble so and you'll have to repeat the whole process from the beginning okay all right guys so the installation of g apps is complete and now all you need to do is go ahead and click on reboot to system and we should see the lineage os boot animation if everything went fine so have your fingers crossed and hope for the best all right guys we see the lineage os boot animation so things did go smooth and let's once we boot into the system we'll go ahead and see if google apps were installed or not and whether we have any issues with the google apps or not so i'll be back once it's done booting all right guys so i seem to be having an issue where and the device is stuck at the boot animation so what we're going to do is we're going to reboot back into bootloader mode so we keep the power button and the volume down button press and hold at the same time keep them pressed and it should boot back into fast boot mode so now we're back into fast boot mode so we'll go ahead and connect it to the computer using the usb cable and we'll go ahead and do a fast boot dash w all right that should wipe everything and now we'll do a fast boot reboot so I think I did the, the wipe at the wrong place because after doing the wipe we did, we did boot into the stock Android once even though we didn't complete the setup. So I think that was the mistake I made. So let's go ahead and see how it goes and I'll be back. Alright guys so that was the issue I did a fast boot hyphen W at the wrong time. So, so add an additional step wherein you do a fast boot hyphen W after you install the G apps as well. So now we click on start. We'll go ahead and skip everything right so if you see the, those flashes of the, the red rectangle on the side that is because this is an engineering build and we have issues with 
booting user debug builds right now so but as you can see gapps were installed properly because you have the option of google now launcher so let's go ahead and select google now launcher and got it and there you have it right on the home screen you have the, the play store and let's go into settings and system and about moto x4 so there you have it android version 8.1.0 lineage os built from yesterday security patch from may the 5th and the build date is from yesterday and se linux is permissive so so now if you want to root you can go ahead and boot back into two app recovery install super su or magis magix magisk i don't know all right i'm way too excited for this so that's it guys that's how you install lineage os on your moto x4 and if you like the video go ahead and share it on social media and make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you and see you when i see you